Child Impact International is an organization that gives hope and fosters permanent, positive change in the lives of disadvantaged children and their communities. Countries include Zambia, Kenya, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. Child Impact's investment in the lives of more than 3,500 children continues to yield infinite returns. Outreach spans from child rescue operations to providing an education and a home for deaf and blind children and orphans. Above all, Child Impact's sponsors give hope to the ones who need it the most. Welcome to Hope in Motion. My name is Tom Evans. I'm the CEO of Child Impact International. It is incredible to see the work that Child Impact is doing around the world. In this episode, we'll be looking at the crucial work at the Collegal School for the Speech and Hearing Impaired. This school is located in the rural setting of Karnataka, India. Being deaf can have many challenges, even under the best of circumstances. But in India, especially in the rural parts, being deaf can be a liability and even considered a curse. For those who are deaf and their families, life can be an insurmountable challenge. This is where education comes in. Education opens a world of possibilities, not just for work, but being able to communicate. In these rural villages, many don't know how to read or write, much less know what sign language is. At the Collegal School, they are taught how to read, write, and also how to communicate using sign language. With these powerful tools, along with a complete education, they are able to get higher paying jobs. Instead of them feeling like a burden to their families, the Collegal graduates are able to take care of their families. Shiny, who is a teacher at Collegal, visited one of the students' families. I'm now here in Mamata's village, in fact right in front of Mamata's house and here is Mamata's mother and Mamata's father here and uh, something I like to say is the walk to her house itself was adventurous for us. We have to cross through a river and come here uh, but this is how their life is. For them this is everyday life. Uh, yes, there were many times the relatives, neighbors have discouraged them saying that this must be cursed from God. Uh, your gra a great grandfather or father have sinned and that's why you have a child who is uh, not able to speak and hear. So it has hurt them a lot. But we cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. This so is uh, God's gift for us. So we just have to accept and live our life. Okay. Yeah, the mother is very happy that Mamata is able to have a good education at the school. And uh, Mamata's mother is uh, very, very happy. That's how she is expressing with her tears that she's so happy for her daughter who is able to have an education. And she is seeing a lot of changes in her daughter. And mother says when daughter comes back home, she is teaching her how to write. So mother is really happy. Education is so powerful that it not only changes the life of the student, but also the lives of those around them. Mamatha's mother has the joy of seeing her daughter be transformed from being called a curse to being a blessing to her mother and all those around her. But in the beginning, it was not easy. Uh, Mamata, when she came here, she was a little frightened, but she always had a beautiful smile on her face. And uh, her parents, they were not educated. And mother was married very young. Uh, so she had a lot of fear to send her uh, child here but when they came here when they saw the other children who are like her they were so happy they were thinking all this while it's just only their uh, child is disabled like uh, but when they saw many other children they were really happy to leave Mamata here uh, and now she's been here for five years in this campus uh, parents were very happy and actually to say parents are very proud 
uh, they want her to continue in the education and they keep telling all the neighbors, uh, you see my daughter is going to become someone great in the future. So very happy for Mamata. Mamata, initially when I was teaching her in uh, moral classes and uh, English classes, I found out, I was worried whether she'll be able to cope up in the fourth standard that she joined. In. Uh, I was wondering whether we had to put her in a lower class, but after a year or two, I realized the transformation that took place in her. She was able to uh, come on par with the other students, that's one. And plus, now she is uh, it's a topper in the class. She is able to, uh, you know, study to the best. That's because of the spirit that is in them to achieve as much as they can. They have that fighting spirit, we must do it. I, if I have to come out of the poverty that I'm in, I need to do my best. And so that is motivating her and, and keeping her going. Mamatha has seen what other students have been able to achieve at this school and knows that a better future is possible for her also. This school has given her a shift in perspective on life, one where she no longer is struggling to survive, but is working to thrive. She is able to believe her dreams are possible and those dreams are being shaped by the self-sacrificing example of those at school. Okay, I asked Mamata what she would like to be when she, in her future. She said, I would like to be a doctor or at least something in the medical work. <laughs> she says, uh, I would like to come back to the school and help all the children. And when they are sick, I would like to treat them. Thanks to the support of sponsors like you, Mamata and her family have been able to have hope for the future. This hope is not just for their time here on earth, but more importantly, it is a hope that comes from a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mamatha's story of success at the Collegal School for the Speech and Hearing Impaired is not a unique one. This school has given many, many deaf children opportunities that before they could only have dreamed of. This speech and hearing school, which is here in Collegal, it's a blessing. We say it's a blessing for the community here because there are so many children have been blessed because of this institution. We have around 70 children who have passed out from the school and they are in a well uh, placed jobs and they are able to be independent and it, is, it has happened only because of this school being here. If it not for the school, they would have ended up working with the parents in their farms or helping in a hotel work or something. But this institution, which has been established here by our Adventist Church, is a blessing to many, many families. And in the last 20 years, we have had more than 80 to 85 students who have finished their 10th standard from our school, gone on to do their ITI or PUC, BCom, MCom, uh, computer science education, and they're working in Bangalore and Mysore and many big companies. And so this news about our senior children doing so well is a great encouragement for the parents who come now to bring their little children. They know, oh, my child can have a future. I was thinking that my child will only be taken care of in this hostel and then I have to take him back and put him at home, just uh, taking care of the child. But then when they realize that their child can have a good job, can establish their own home and be a great support to the family, they are so encouraged. The school is changing parents' outlooks for the future of their children. They are able to know that there is hope and what seemed to be a curse is actually turning into a blessing. In the beginning, the parents did not have that much of awareness. Uh, instead, they used to think, uh, what, my children cannot hear, my children cannot speak. There are so many children who are normal. They are not doing anything with uh, so much of problem, how my children are going to come up in life. But uh, after seeing the other children, who have achieved in their life and so happy to say the children who have gone out from the school right now they are married and they have their own family and they are supporting their family and raising their uh, families on their own without any other help from anyone so right now our parents view have changed and uh, we also show them we call the children who have been successful to come back and interact with the parents and with the children to encourage them and motivate them that one day they are also going to be successful. So this has changed the parents' view. They say like, oh really? 
if that child has been uh, changed I, I now i know that even my child is going to be uh, successful like them the society in india is still rooted in the past with the caste system in this system you are treated differently depending on how high up in the caste you are the level of your rights are different depending on how far up the system you go this school is helping to spread the gospel of how we are all equal under god this is shown not just to the students but also to their parents and to the surrounding community when the parents bring a new deaf child to our campus uh, with a lot of fear they bring them here but after they come here and the way they see that all the children are mingling and they are happy playing around i have heard parents saying that they are so happy for the children here because they are not treated differently uh, based on their caste and that's where our uh, church plays a very good example for the community here treating every child same and treating every parent equal because whenever we have a parent meeting or any celebration we invite all the parents and they all are treated equal uh, and when they go out this is what they say in that school they treat all of us same and it is so uh, we feel at home when we go to the school so i think that's how uh, that's what the church is supposed to be doing and this school being here is already spreading the gospel to the parents through the way it's functioning and the way that they give life to the children with the continued work of the Collegal School for the Speech and Hearing Impaired more stories of success like Mamatha will be possible your prayers and financial support are the lifeblood that not only keeps this school going but also growing many feel like they're not able to help in the mission field but through sponsorship through financial support you are able to have a direct impact on the life of a child in need wherever you are you are able to participate in the great commission that Christ has given to his followers thank you and may god bless have you ever thought about which of the five senses you would choose to lose if you had to personally i would pick the sense of smell due to seasonal allergies i'm often missing this important sense and sometimes that's a good thing actually i don't know if anyone would choose to lose hearing or sight these senses are so critical to everyday living life without these senses is fraught with danger children especially become vulnerable and in many countries are ostracized and rejected At Child Impact, we operate a number of what we call special needs projects. This includes the deaf school you just heard about, a blind school, and a number of orphanages. We have seen the impact that sponsorship can provide for these precious children. They find a place of safety where they can flourish despite the challenges that they face. As you might imagine, special needs demand extra support staff. and resources in order to provide the required educational and housing environment. We want these students to thrive and have the best opportunities available. The monthly sponsorship amount for these children covers close to half of the actual expense. This is why the Blind, Deaf and Orphan Fund is so critical. This fund fills the gap between sponsorship and the actual cost. I'd like to invite you to support these special needs children by donating to the Blind, Deaf and Orphan Fund. You can do that on our website at childimpact.org or you can call 423-910-0667. Thank you for your generosity on behalf of these amazing children.